<laughs> oh, shit. WeatherTech and Husky Liners are the two biggest names when it comes to floor mats and floor liners, and they pretty much make a kit for any vehicle. And we get asked all the time which is the better brand and which set people should buy. So today we're going to be comparing the WeatherTech Custom Fit Floor Liner and the Husky Liners Exact Contour Floor Liner, both for the JK Wrangler, and they are only a $3 price difference, so they are competing products and essentially the same price. This is the Husky Liners Exact Contour Floor Liner. It is made right here in the USA of this durable rubberized material. It is on the flexible side, so it is softer. As you can see on the front, there are channels to trap and hold on the dirt and moisture, and also add a little bit more grip for your feet as well. And on the back side, it has cleats, so it does stay in place, and it also attaches to the factory anchors. Here we have the WeatherTech Custom Fit Floor Liner. This is also made here in the USA, and it features a high-density tri-extruded material that is laser designed for a perfect fit and to contour the floor of your vehicle. This material is on the stiffer side, so it is more rigid and it's gonna stay in place, but it is a lot more harder than the Husky Liner, and it has more of a plasticky feel to it than a rubber. It also has channels right here to trap and hold on the dirt, and down here is a larger reservoir to really hold onto all that debris to make it easier to clean. And it does attach right here to the factory anchor on the floor, but on the back, there are no cleats, like on the Husky. Now, it might not matter so much for functionality, but to me, just looking at these side by side, the WeatherTech does look a bit more refined and the Husky is a little bit more plain. You can see right here, this notch is more refined on the WeatherTech than on the Husky right here, and also this notch right here. Here we have the WeatherTech floor liner installed in our Jeep. Now, if you notice, we don't actually have carpet in this Jeep. We lizard skin the interior, but you get the idea. It does contour the floor really well. So my impressions from the driver's seat is these are a little bit loud, like it's kind of sounds like a work truck mat. It's definitely louder than carpet. Like tapping your feet, there's definitely a lot of noise. Don't pay attention to it sliding around like this. There are no anchors down there because we don't have carpet. But yeah, my impressions is there isn't a whole lot of friction on here. So I'm gonna get out and we're gonna put a little bit of water in here and pull it out and see how cleanly we can remove it. See if it spills or anything like that. See if I can not make a mess here. Oh. Spilled it up front at the gas pedal. It poured out front and now at the back. So I did spill a lot when I was folding it like this to get it out. A lot of it spilled out in the front like that. Here we have the Husky Liners floor liner installed in the Jeep. As you can see, it pretty much has the same exact coverage as the WeatherTech. It forms just as nice even though the outlines weren't as noticeable on the table. And the anchors are covered so it's not gonna leak. Overall, the fit and coverage is extremely similar to the WeatherTech. All right, so my thoughts of the Husky Liners floor liner, it's definitely a lot more flimsy than the WeatherTech. So if your shoes like hit the side of it, it definitely moves out of the way. You can decide if that's a good or a bad thing. With your feet, it's not as loud. Uh, it's virtually uh, silent, unlike the WeatherTech. And I do like the diamond plate area for your right foot. Um, it's a lot more comfortable than if your foot was sitting on those channeled areas. I think there is a little bit more friction on the liner itself. My foot doesn't slide around as much. Um, you can decide if that's a good or a bad thing. Yeah, so why don't I get out of here and pour some water in this one and see if I make as big of a mess as I did with the weather tech. Pouring out of the front. Oh, oh, lost about half. Lost almost all of it. <laughs> I saved a little bit, but still made a mess all over the floor. So I've poured a little bit of water into each floor liner again, and I just want to show you kind of how well the water rolls off of these. Pretty slick surface. It just rolls right off, and it's pretty much almost dry immediately. And we'll do the same thing with the Husky. It takes a little bit longer to roll off of this one. The water just beads right off. I would say the water probably came off the WeatherTech one a little quicker, though. Okay, our last test did involve water, so it only makes sense to keep going with the water here. Now, you'll probably never run into this situation ever, but we're just gonna see how much fluid each one of these liners can hold. We have this one propped up to be about the same contour as this one. We're about to breach the anchor hole on this one. Uh, so this is only one quart of water, and we're just about to start leaking at the anchor on the WeatherTech. Like I said earlier, this particular liner for the JK did not come with a plug for the anchor. I know many WeatherTech kits do, but this one didn't, so just a little bit more water, and we'll start to leak 
through the anchor. And right there's our leak. That was about one and one third of a quart. All right, so we'll empty this out before we leak any more onto the table. Crap. Damn it. Is cleaning up floor mat water a daily struggle for you? Because I know it is for me. Okay, on to the Husky liners. Since this one is completely sealed, I'm gonna say this one might hold up to a gallon, a full gallon of water because it has to breach the back here. So I think it's gonna do a lot better. Here's court number four to make one gallon. Definitely making for a hazardous situation. Yeah, be careful, you already made a mess. But it's, it's in the name of science, so it's okay. Whoa. There we go. Four and a half quarts. Neither manufacturer would ever recommend using brake cleaner on either of these products to clean it, but I know a lot of us car guys use brake cleaner to clean a lot of things. So we're gonna see if brake cleaner is damaging to either one of these liners. I know you shouldn't do this, but we're just gonna see if it is damaging to either one. So we're gonna spray a little bit on this blue rag here, and we're gonna wipe it down to see if it does anything. See if it breaks down the material or comes off on the paper towel or anything like that did virtually nothing to the WeatherTech. The Husky did soften up a little bit. Didn't cause any damage, didn't come off on the rag, but it definitely feels a little softer there. So both were virtually unaffected by the brake clean. So you've spent your hard earned money on these floor mats and you definitely wanna make sure that they're quality. So you might be concerned if the emblem is gonna come off. Now both of them have a very similar emblem. Um, so we're gonna see how difficult it is to remove. I guess this would simulate wear and tear later down the road, how well it sticks. So we're just gonna see how hard it is to remove if it even can be removed. So the WeatherTech's indent for the emblem is definitely a little bit bigger. I guess a lot of debris could get down in there along with moisture and could loosen it up over time. Got the pick under there real easy. And uh, just seems like your average sticker. It's on there pretty good, but it's not super tight. Onto the Husky liner, you can see it is a much more uh, formed fit here. There is no whole lot of room for moisture or debris to get down in here. So it looks like uh, the emblem might last a little bit longer. And it does have a different adhesive and this one is much easier to pull off. Significantly easier to pull off than the WeatherTech. All right, so that's enough for in the studio. It's a beautiful hot summer day. Why don't we take these things outside, get them real muddy and see which one is actually easier to clean. All right, there's a little like mud creek over here. I'm gonna go throw these floor liners in there and stomp all over them and get them real muddy. All right, first up, WeatherTech. I'm sure our neighbors hate us. This stuff smells disgusting. All right, let's see how easy these things are to clean. From just the hose, the WeatherTech virtually came perfectly clean, except for right here. And it's like nothing ever happened. Both were really interesting how they kind of repelled all the dirt and mud and water. These little grooves right here are definitely gonna make the Husky a little bit more difficult to clean, but we're having extremely similar results here. Hey, I'm Freddy the Science Guy. So we got these things really muddy and apparently that was no match for these floor liners. So if you daily drive your vehicle, if you have kids, you know that it gets covered in syrup from soda, all kinds of junk food, and it gets super gummed up with just all this crap. So we're gonna put these things to the test. We got some Mentos and Diet Coke, some syrup and a granola bar. We are gonna get these things absolutely filthy and disgusting. Let it bake in the sun. It's about 300 degrees outside right now. So uh, once it gets all baked on, we're gonna see how easy they are to clean, if it's even possible. Yeah. All right, now we'll do the, the Husky. I think, I think someone makes a tube that like, you like precision put all of them in. <laughs> oh, sh <laughs> oh sh <laughs> Okay, uh, I got Diet Coke on my face. Aunt Jemima. And the crummiest thing in the world, Nature Valley granola bar. And now there's Coke in my eye and it burns. This actually smells so delicious. Now let's see if we can get these clean with just a hose. 
It looks like everything just came right off. Yeah, that. it's like nothing bonds to the surface of these floor liners. Like all that stuff was baked on there and that hose just washed it right off easier than the mud. It's a little bit harder to clean in these uh, little channels right here, but everything still seems to be just coming right off. That is incredible. Apparently these things are hard to get dirty and keep dirty, super easy to clean. So why don't we see how durable they are now? So first thing we're gonna do, I have a pick here and we're just gonna see how easy it is to go through the liner and shove it through the sidewall here and it pretty much went through it like butter. Let's take a Phillips screwdriver and see how it does. Pretty much the same thing, went through it very, very easily. Okay, we have just your typical set of shears. We're gonna see how easy it is to cut. Pretty much like a piece of paper. Now for my favorite part, let's see how easy it is to burn. Don't try this at home. And definitely do it in a well-ventilated area if you happen to set this mat on fire. It is flammable. It does sustain a flame. All right, we got a butane torch here. Pretty much same result as the lighter. All right, we have the weather tech. Let's see if we can puncture it. Still punctured, uh, but a little bit more difficult than the Husky. Definitely more difficult. A lot more force, but still possible. Okay, let's see how easy it is to cut. Still fairly easy, but more difficult than the Husky. All right, let's see how flammable it is. Seems to be less flammable than the Husky. Let's try the torch. I would say it's definitely more flame retardant than the Husky. With this little cut that I did here and here, I'm gonna see if I can tear it. Weather tech? Nope. Husky? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I have no idea what this is gonna prove, but we have our Raptor in our field here, and we're gonna do a little burnout in the field and throw the floor liners under the wheel while we're doing a burnout. First up is Husky. Are you ready to throw the Husky? Yup. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's assess the damage. Did get a little like tear crease right here. This is already ripped from when I ripped it before. But other than this crease looks like a piece of tread, like a tread mark right there. I don't see any other damage really. It just kind of like took form of the tire and nothing really happened. So. Let's see what the weather tech does. Safety committee ready. Yep, we're uh, good. All right, fire in the hole. Keep going, keep going. All right, let's assess the damage here. Definitely looks like there was a burnout done on top of it. It's definitely deformed here. Uh, pretty scraped up really bad. Looks like it took some material off. There's some pretty heavy wear marks right here. It kind of like burned all the way through almost. Definitely a lot of wear right here. Definitely took a lot of material off. No idea what this is gonna prove either, but uh, let's have some fun. There is no safety committee on this one, so I think we're good to go. And there you have it. That was our review and torture test for the Husky liners and WeatherTech floor liners. Now all you guys have to do is decide which set is for you. And if you want to pick up a set of these for your vehicle, you can find it right here at cjponyparts.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe learned something. We'll see you next time. We hope you enjoyed this video. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the link right here. And for more videos like this one, check out this playlist.